What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Dad Toys video. Today I have a brand new WWE Elite Custom Jeff Hardy. So in today's video guys, we do have my entire Jeff Hardy Elite figure collection as well as this brand new custom that I did make yesterday. I wanted to pretty much convert this Jax TNA Deluxe 5 series figure from Jax. I wanted to convert it into a Mattel Elite and as you can see it is right here in the flesh. We do have it and um, I really honestly, I don't really know how to feel about it. I am very frustrated with the way it turned out because... Uh, I had a ton of problems with the paint, guys. I said it in the past, don't ever use folk art paint from the hobby store. And I, I still freaking used it just because I was like, you know what, this is the right color. You know, I want it to go right. I want it to be accurate. The only thing I really like about it is the belt, the shoes, and the face. I'm proud of that, but the arms are atrocious, guys. And I'll tell you why. Um, I don't know what it is, but it it didn't seal right. It, the, the primer I used effed it all up. The paint is just a piece of trash, and I, I am not happy with the way it turned out at all as far as the arms. There's a lot of chipping and just awfulness. I tried my best to seal it right and, you know, prime it, and I even, like, uh sanded it down i sanded down the joints and everything so here you guys can see and uh, you'll see like right here and right here it gets so ugly guys it gets like so thick and just awful and uh, i am not happy about that at all but the face did come out pretty good i am pretty happy with how the face paint turned out and it's a real shame because i wanted to use it on mdt live or a pay-per-view or something for jeff hardy but i don't think i'll be able to do that just because i mean these arms are atrocious guys like i am so disappointed again in the way it came out like, I don't know why um, the primer just really, maybe it's the humidity outside, the way it dried, I do not know, but it just destroyed the arms. But again, I am happy with the way the face turned out, you know, this is uh, pretty accurate to that TNA figure. Again, he didn't wear this in WWE, but you know, MDT Live and everything is in pink and black and everything, so I wanted to make this attire. I really do enjoy this attire. Just too bad that the arms did get pooped on. Um, I still would appreciate your guys' feedback, but I do understand, like, look how crappy, I don't know, man, it just did not go right, and I had to redo the arms twice, and they still, they, this is the best I could get it, because it would not, I don't know if it's the sealer or what, but it would just not go right, guys, and it's all chippy and stuff, but, uh, the belt came out nice, again, the head, and the face did turn out nice. I used a WWE Shop Exclusive Hardy from the 2-pack. You know, that came with Matt Hardy. It's an FYE and WWE Shop Exclusive. I did use that figure. And again, I, I'm so disappointed with the arms, guys, because I really wanted to use this. I wish Mattel would give us pink uh, arms or something for me to come in here and, you know, switch it out so you won't get that paint rub. But golly, guys, I'm very upset with uh, the way that paint wanted to seal and stuff. I went with the little black peg for the wrist right here so it wouldn't paint rub or anything. The hands, you know, they're, they're not chipping too bad, but again, man, that freaking, uh, that burns me up. But uh, here are the feet, and uh, he had purple boots on in that match. I believe it was supposed to be Slammiversary 8 where he tag-teamed with uh, Mr. Anderson or King Kennedy or whatever you want to call him and uh, he did wear purple boots with this attire so that's what that looks like and again guys i am happy with it and i'm excited for the custom but just jesus man it couldn't freaking just work out the way i wanted it to here's a little back shot of it again it really i do love the pink color but the folk art paint i guess is just so cheap that it would not stick you know i used my regular sealant i've never had any problems with paint chipping really in the past ever before so this is really new for this to happen i guess again i guess it's just the cheap folk art paint because I cannot think of another reason why it would ship so freaking bad but uh, again I, I love the head and it's just a disappointment to see the custom pretty much go to waste because I guess it'll just sit up on the shelf because I'm not gonna try it with anything I'm not gonna try and pose it around because these arms are going to chip like hell and it's just so frustrating but uh, we'll take a zoom out right here so you guys can get a look at the full hardy compound right here we do have uh, on the far left we have this custom that i threw together the head was made by brock lock and uh, he's very uh, talented if you guys know him from instagram he's a beast so he made that head scan i threw the parts together we have an elite 57 over here with the reborn by fate shirt we got a head swap with the elite 57 we got the entrance greats head scan on there you know you saw this in the MDT Money in the Bank. We saw that spot where he took his shirt off with the face paint still on there. 
Here's a uh, here's the other side of that head swap. We have the Elite entrance grates with the Elite 57 head swap. So it's just a head swap between these two figures. We also have the uh, beautiful Epic Moments figure, which is a great one. We got the entrance grates with the entrance shirt on there. Not the one that it came with, but I like this one better. I just love the way that looks with the green and everything. It's just so fire. We have the... WWE Shop Exclusive, and this is the base that I used right here, but I did switch out the arms. I used Daniel Bryan arms, or Dean Ambrose arms and hands, and um, I actually did add the uh, nail polish in there, so I had to, you know, get in there and give him a little manicure, pedicure. I think it's a manicure, I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that, but we have another Elite 57 Hardy, another WWE Shop Exclusive Hardy, and then we have this Custom Hardy right here which has uh, a lime green band and then a gray band and then a custom head and it does have custom tattoos painted on there from Brock Lock again Beast Customizer definitely follow him on Instagram if you guys have one Brock Lock 76 but yeah guys we have the pink TNA Slammiversary Jeff Hardy to throw in over the top but again it did not work out how I planned it so it is very frustrating again but I am happy with the head scan and the rest I would just cut the arms off and you have a good custom in my opinion but uh thank you guys so much for watching this video I'd love to know your guys thoughts on the collection of Hardys plus what you think of the Slammiversary TNA Jeff Hardy what do you think about the custom do you think I got it on the money uh comparing it to the Jax figure or do you think you know whatever but uh let me know if you've ever had that problem with the arms. I just, I could not figure it out, guys. I don't know. Maybe somebody can help me out. But I literally tried everything I could. I dremeled down the joints. I primed it. I tried not priming it. I tried sealing it. And it, it not seal it. It just would not work out in my favor, guys. So uh, maybe next time I can figure something out. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Comment down below what you think of the Hardy compound we got going right here. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Enigma.